I love Christmas time so much. Tis the season to be jolly. There's just so many great things about it. Best time of the year by far. A time each year where we should come closest to true peace on earth. But that gets us into the topic of the video. How's it going everybody? I'm Red Alt Comics and what other character do you know that fights for peace harder than Superman? There are few, but few people come close to the big blue boy scout himself. In fact, Superman seems to fit with the whole spirit of Christmas, giving back to people an attitude of happiness. Doesn't that sound like someone? So this season, with my first Christmas on the channel, I thought I'd have a holiday video talking about the greatest character in fiction. Now Superman has had plenty of holiday specials over the years, but I can instantly think of one that represented the spirit of Christmas and Superman himself. I'm talking about Superman Peace on Earth, the 64-page one-shot special created by the two excellent talents Paul Dini and Alex Ross. It takes place right as the holiday season is approaching. Clark Kent must feed the impoverished children all around the world. Now it may be hard, and he experiences many challenges along the way, but Superman continues to push, no matter what, for truth. Peace. Alex Ross fully illustrates this special, and his art has never looked better than it has here. His images give off a realistic feeling, but still embrace the warm spirit of Christmas. His Superman stands out in every panel, the reds, blues, and yellows popping on the page in the widely gray and brown one around him, showing how influential the character is. He's tall, powerful, incredibly wise, and yet gives off the compassionate and caring character he is showing the love Superman has for every being on the planet. It emphasizes the theme of the story. Superman is here to make the world a better, brighter place, constantly doing everything he can to make his dream of a world where all have dignity, honor, and justice. Paul Dini is mainly known for writing Batman, of course, with his widely successful Detective Comics run, credit for writing Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, and of course, Batman the Animated Series. But he's also an incredible Superman writer. This story fully encapsulates the character of Superman more than anything I know, which is why it's one of my favorite stories. Opening with Clark as a boy talking to Jonathan. He says each seed needs a chance to grow. Some can do it by themselves, but others need a little more help. Truly going with the theme of the story. It's reflected through Clark's actions in the story. After helping Metropolis with the big Christmas tree, Clark gets thinking about people during this season. Charles Dickens described the season as, When warmth is keenly felt, an abundance rejoices. He goes to the home where he dropped off a woman begging for help the other night, asking what happened to her. A woman says she would have died if Superman wasn't there to save her, wishing that he could do that for everyone, which pushes Clark into the endeavor for true world peace. The problem, Pi used to say, is everyone as far back as we go. We've always had problems with sharing. Seems everyone's too busy holding on to what they got to care for how their neighbors are doing. Ha said it would take a special individual with no personal agenda to make everyone realize what their world has to offer. Someone who could push his own needs aside to help the greater good. Clark Kent always goes around the world saving individuals, over the years helping as many people as he could. Superman isn't going to dictate and change the world the way he wants it, but fight hunger on a global scale. Perhaps he could have set an example for all to do the same, or at least take action in the ways they can. Superman gets a chance to speak to Congress about what he will do. They all agree it's an issue, but are not convinced it's going to work. Belief, something that Superman has always had, 
belief in mankind that all men, women, and children can create a difference in this world. Superman goes country to country helping as many people as he can. People see him as a symbol of hope, of complete good and prosperity. As the boy says Superman will come tomorrow too, he starts to realize that this will feed people for a few days, but not forever. Superman still thrives on, running to man-made and natural troubles. Other fearful countries see him as an activist or a fraud. He encounters people so desperate they are an unthinking mob only trying to survive. He then encounters a country that refuses his help, but Superman goes on anyway. The military shoots the food down, ending Superman's mission. He failed. He cannot save everyone. He has the powers of a god, and yet he is only one man. That's a reason that Superman is really so interesting. We learn in these stories to look up and admire this hero, a man consistently trying to do good. We do this with all our heroes, but I find Superman to reflect this point the most. And you learn through these stories to be like this character, but he's not perfect. He makes mistakes. He's human. So Superman instead asks you and all the people to come after you and the people after that. Superman can't do this alone. He asks you all to give your time, your knowledge, your generosity, and hope. So that someday, because of all of our actions, there will be true peace on Earth. When I once again feel the warm spring air in my hair, I make it a point to follow my own advice. Patiently and gently, I share with others the way to scatter the seeds a few at a time, evenly between the rows so that each one will have enough space. I tell them not every seed will make it, but all deserve a chance to grow. Thank you everybody so much for watching this holiday special. If you did enjoy, and you obviously did because you're watching to the end of the video, like the video. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever the next video drops. Speaking of, that video will be in 2022. Now, I have a special year anniversary video talking about my plans for 2022. It's sort of in the, in the uh, conclusion of that video. So, I mean, just look out for that. It's coming January 12th. 2022 so look out for that that's not going to be the first video in 2022 there's going to be most likely a review of action comics 1038 first uh yes this will be the last video of 2021 however so yeah it's been a great first year uh if you'd like to support me a little more why not go to the patreon be like mirror he gets exclusive content uh early access to videos and so much more Info is in the link below, so please, like, support me if you want. I got a Twitter, if you'd like to follow that, that's also linked below. As this is basically my channel, but daily, so yeah, check that out if you want. So, that's going to be it for today. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a Happy New Year, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.